Welcome to my blog. Uh, oh God, is that how my voice sounds? Do people really hear when they talk? Sit is down. that how they hear when they talk? No. Welcome to my blog, this is um, John Watson. I have uh, been informed that I have fans, which is kind of nice to know since Sherlock's always getting the majority of the uh, audiences. Um, so let's start with my history, but uh, I appeared when Sherlock did, honestly, it's the exact same time in the first book he was, wrote by uh, Conan Doyle, and uh, which was in 1892, 94, I'm not sure which one. But, um, I want to go ahead and start actually asking some questions because I'm quite eager. Um, let's see here. How do you put up a Sherlock? Have you ever heard the phrase, breathe in, breathe out? Breathe in, breathe out. Same concept. Very much so, the same concept. Do you get jealous of Sherlock? What is there to get jealous of? Huh, not really, no. No, I do not get jealous of Sherlock. No, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. When are you going to slam the door on Sherlock? What makes you think I haven't already? <laughs> How are Sherlock's chickens? Does he make you clean the pens? No, no he doesn't. I, I would not do that kind of work for him. And he likes chickens. Have you ever thought about shaving? No, I worked really hard for this. I worked very, very hard for this. What is the real story of how you met Sherlock? I'm not going to go into too much detail on that one. However, truth is, our friend introduced me. And uh, he was quite the wild ball, but he impressed me. And he invited me to help him solve a case. And when I first met him, I didn't realize it was just a show off. But then that's kind of what it turned into. But I enjoyed the cases that he took me on. And eventually he asked me to roommate with him. And, you know, being a veteran I was, I needed a place to stay. I was not expecting to stay that long, though. No, 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 no. Uh, but he's uh, quite the interesting roommate. Has Sherlock ever informed you that you were going to teach him to fight? Oh, God. Oh, my. Will be a terrible experience. I'm really hoping that it will never happen. Oh, my. Don't even want to imagine. How does being a doctor qualify you to be a detective? Well, I... I don't know. I know how people have died. I know certain things that happened to people. So I can help Sherlock realize and figure out how exactly um, it happened. How they got killed. And then he figures out the rest. He figures out the rest. Have you ever had an intimate relationship with Sherlock. Oh, God, no. Oh, no, I've never had an intimate relationship with Sherlock. I am straight, I'm married, I have a son. However, however, if I was not straight, Sherlock would not be the man I'd pick. I can assure you that. <laughs> so, well, that's all the questions. Wasn't a whole lot. I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> so, yeah. Sherlock's pipe.
I found you! <laughs> Silvering here, thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to the video. Also, if you enjoy my work, please like my page at Silver at um on Facebook on Silvering. Um if you don't like my work, please comment on below and let me know what I can do to better myself. Also, if you there are any attributes to um Watson that you didn't see or didn't think I captured, please let me know and I'm gonna do another version of Sherlock Holmes eventually. So um when I do another version of Watson, I will <clears throat> make sure I um do that for you. Also, if you did not get the baby joke, please watch my previous episode of Sherlock Holmes and it'll make more sense to you if you have not already. And that's about all I have to say. Tune in for my next blog. Silvering out!